The whole world's fucked, James. And that's where we're starting the show! Intro here. I don't know if I can use the same intro, because I don't know if I can find the USB drive that has the intro on it. I might have my brother write me a new one. Cut it. Cut it. It'll be fine. This is just me just, like, prepping for open mic. This is just, like, me running shit by it. I saw this other thing where, um... They're re-releasing Roald Dahl's books, like Penguin Press, yeah, yeah, yeah. with like, they're, but they're like censored and shit, and they're like changing language in it. Why? What? The, because oh. they they're trying to be more like inclusive, and I was like, I'm all for inclusivity. This might be going a little too far. Uh, they said that one of the changes they made was instead of calling Augustus Gloop in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory enormously fat, he's just enormous now, which is still like. Say, like it's saying a kid's enormous like it makes it sound like he's like he's the rock like i just imagine like a ja- like that's why he can't get through the tube he's not because he's fat just he's it's so like, like, a, like shrunk down 1985 arms Schwarzenegger. yeah he's just so jacked so now i just imagine a, like all the kids are kids and augustus glute just like yeah hell yeah he's been training his augustus glutes you know what i'm saying like he's been doing squats and shit <laughs> but there's this other one where instead of calling the oompa loompas little orange men it's calling them little orange people. So now it's like there's female. They're female Oompa Loompas. They're female Oompa Loompas now. So like. Or do they have a gender? I mean, I mean they're, like. They're rule, not genderless? I mean like rule 34 has already like probably did a lot of that work for us. Yeah. Not that I know. <laughs> but. Can you imagine? Can you imagine knocking up an Oompa Loompa? She shows up to your house with a pregnancy test. And just goes Oompa Loompa. Oompa <laughs> dee doo. I've got a bastard child for you. It's just like in a basket. Leaves it on your doorstep and just kind of like dances away. <laughs> we haven't done this in so long. We haven't done this. And like, no, I, I want to be like, congrats guys, I bought a microphone. But we're using James's microphone. <laughs> yeah. But I bought the same microphone that James has. So in a way, we're using my new microphone. Yeah, hell yeah. But this is the microphone you're going to hear in the Marvin's room. Are we even still going to call this Marvin's room? I'm going to call it Marvin's room because yeah, yeah. we're going to have James quite a bit. But I, I'm going to have other people too, I assume. Yeah, we're just, we're just <laughs> sitting at a baby table. Sitting at a baby table. Sitting at a little Oompa Loompa baby table. Yeah, dude. What a way to do a podcast, sitting at a Spider-Man children's table. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's The awesome. most, like, me and James thing to do. Hell yeah. We gotta find a new movie to. We gotta find our new Thunderstruck. We gotta find like the worst Thunderstruck movie. was so good though. Thunderstruck was so good, but like we can't do it again no, with good no, microphone. No, no. We gotta like take the L on the microphone we had, which was just my laptop. So if you guys have any, if y'all have any horrible movies you want us to watch, like bad like B budget movies, I don't yeah, know how yeah. we're gonna beat Thunderstruck. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That was like the cream of the crop. For those who didn't make the attempt to listen to our last episode, <laughs> like, I don't know what season this is. Like, Spotify is like, what season is it? I don't know what season. It's the reboot, for all I care. Yeah, right. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> but Thunderstruck is a movie that is basically a mix of Like Mike and, like, Space Jam, in a sense. <laughs> where this, like this kid question. gets the talent of then-NBA superstar of the Oklahoma City Thunder, Kevin Durant who was recently traded to, I believe, the Phoenix Suns. Uh, did he go to the Suns? I think he went to the Suns. That's tragic. So current Phoenix Sun. I know. But, well, I mean, that's, that's where old people go to retire. It's like Arizona. It's Jamie, that pull sense. that up. Jamie, pull it up. <laughs> I'm just going to say that to myself when I'm pulling something. Got a gusset, glute, looking ass, Joe Rogan. Because uh, <laughs> he's, you know. Now, see, now I can say that. Um, he- allegedly. Um, he is uh, he's set to make the debut on the first. Yeah, Phoenix Suns. What so, the fuck? How he, the fuck did they pull that one out? I don't know, but we um, the the Indian Pacers got George Hill back. So one of my personal favorite players from the last time I actually watched basketball, which was late high school, early college. Yeah, I do. So, I, I don't follow sports ball. I, I'm I've gonna, been following sports. I'm gonna try ball, to dude. catch up for about three seconds here. Let me lie. see the fucking lineup. I watched the Super Bowl. Did you watch the Super Bowl? I watched the. Uh, I, watched, I watched the halftime show. I watched part of the halftime show just because my I like wanted to show my kid that. And my kid was bored with it, so I was like, okay, well, it's obviously not that exciting. Right. I, I love how they. Like, I love Rihanna. You know, I love me some Rihanna. Uh, do Rihanna's this shit? But like, and people were like, oh, she's pregnant. That's why. No, no, no. Okay, that's what stopped her from doing a bunch of stuff. 
You mean to tell me the backup dancers couldn't have changed the costume or two? Yeah, right. Like, they couldn't have just, like, gotten out of those little, like, condom suits there? They look like they're wearing the full-body condoms yeah, from freaking, yeah. like, <laughs> Naked Gun and shit. And that's a deep cut. That's a deep cut. Kids, ask your parents who Leslie Nielsen is. Yeah, right. Fucking. Yeah. Ask your grandparents who Leslie Nielsen yeah, is. Yeah, right. That man was the energy, though. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. They could have done something. They could have done something. They could have changed. They could have. Why was that? All? And it was all red. It was all red. People were like, it's Satan. I was like, I don't know. It just kind of hurt my eyes a little. What oh, the fuck? Chris Paul still plays basketball? I didn't even know that, he's dude. Old, he's old enough. Chris Paul, he's old as hell. Like, so Thunderstruck is basically like Mike and Space Jam, but Kevin Durant is the Michael Jordan, which hurts physically to say. Yeah. But not the Michael That's Jordan right. of Space Jam. He's the Michael Jordan of like Mike. And when the yeah. kid gets his ability <laughs> and nothing else. He's in the movie for maybe is, 15 minutes. That is the comparison there for And sure. this kid, he wants to be a basketball star. Can't play basketball to save his life. He's like he's like a 12-year-old Dollar General Justin Long. He's like a Dollar General Justin Long. His basketball coach is Jim Belushi. <laughs> to show you what kind of Jim. budget this had, they broke the bank for Jim Belushi. They use a legally safe knockoff of Thunderstruck. They, spent, they blew their whole lot on Jim Belushi. That they could not yeah, afford the rights to ECDC's yeah, yeah, yeah. Thunderstruck. Kevin Durant donated his time for Kevin, sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, poor Kevin Durant. He probably had some like agent being like, "This, this is gonna, gonna do for you. Do. This is gonna be Space Jam Two. And then look at what. Yeah. Dude, I well, I mean, let's be honest. That. Space Jam Two. Not it wasn't. It, was, it didn't hit. It wasn't I never good. watched it. Man. it I didn't want to be that disappointed in my own childhood. Like you think you think Michael Jordan can't really act. LeBron can't. Either. <laughs> I, and you think he could, man. The he way he could. flops on the floor, you think he could. Ayo, hey, oh, yeah. got him. Yeah, I know. He should get an Oscar for all the crying he does. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> some Lakers fan is going to call us and be like, you piece of shit. Right. LeBron. I don't know why Jack Nicholson himself is calling us, but you piece of shit. Dude, I LeBron. mean, hey, like realistically, LeBron James. Like, LeBron is definitely like up there in greatest of all time. I don't think He's greatest of all time. He can't act worth the shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, and the whole the whole premise like I, of the movie was the the AI of Warner Brothers wants to put LeBron James in every movie, yeah. and the AI is played by Don Cheadle, I did right. a movie that definitely wasted the talents of Don Cheadle. I, just, I wish we would change the acronym of GOAT to like G-O-T-E, like greatest of the era, not greatest of all time. I feel that. I feel that. Because, yeah. because you've got, because you got LeBron Harris. James. You've got Michael Jordan. You've got you've Kobe got, Bryant. You've got dude. Kobe Bryant. Like, you've got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You've got Clyde Drexler. You got Larry Bird. Hey, homeboy. But you know, then, you know, Larry Bird. So like, fucking, yeah, that I feel that. Big dog, you know what because I mean? that's what people say. They're like, who would be on like the basketball Mount Rushmore? It's like you'd have to have like fifteen different guys. <laughs> you have to be. You need to fifteen be on the basketball Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Yeah, because <laughs> like, we need at least ten heads at least. And then it's like with the football Mount Rushmore, you could have one just for coaches. Same with basketball, for that matter. Yeah, literally. So it's like there's a Hall of Fame for a reason. Who's on? Who's on your? Who's on your basketball? Like, who's on your basketball? Mount like Rushmore? my my, my <laughs> personal five. Uh, just like influence growing up, dude. Obviously, you got like Jordan Bird. You got Michael. Top two. Yeah. Jordan Bird top two because like Bird was like you know he's the white man that shoots threes and fucks oh, people yeah. up, dude. Like he was nasty. He was disgusting on the court, bro. He stopped. In, he stopped in a third quarter and gave, and like literally went. I'm not gonna play the fourth. I already fucked him up enough. Yeah, <laughs> that's the most baller shit I've ever heard in my and life. And then the, that three point contest that he did, he won the whole thing without even taking his jacket off. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. But no, those two. Uh, I would say Kobe is third, most definitely. Um, yeah, Allen Iverson. AI. Ooh, that's one I didn't really think about. Yeah, Allen Iverson's a fucking badass dude, but he exploded on the scene. We're talking about practice. We're talking about open mic. (laughs) (laughs) I want to do that. I want to do a sketch of that. Be like, so why didn't you uh, bring out your A material? Well, we're talking about open mic, right? This isn't like a book show. (laughs) Talking about open mic. Paying for this. We're talking about about a free open mic at Tali's. No one's listening. (laughs) Oh, this man fifth. There's so many fucking names bouncing through my head, too. I know, and because then you got, like I said, like I mentioned, Kareem yeah, like Bar. When you start to get to, like, the five, six, seven, I would probably pick Dr. J all day. Dr. J, yeah. Julius say. Irving. I think him and AI would be, like, the two flip-floppers for me. It's like, I feel like just for, five right there. if we're talking purely nostalgia factor, I, I'd have to go with Reggie Miller, obviously, being an Indiana boy. Yeah, Pacer, yeah, Watching Pacers sure. in the 90s. The living alien. Hell yeah. Shaq. Of course. I mean, you can't have Kobe without Shaq. Can't have anybody in the dude, 90s without Shaq, right. frankly. Fuck, dude. He was a monster on the Magic, dude. Dirk Nowinski, for that matter. Fuck yeah, also. dude. 
Dirk, Dirk the Jerk, my dad called him. He seemed like a really nice man. I never oh, yeah. got it. But, well, yeah, he just ruined everybody's fucking you know, money. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that was. My dad will do this thing where, like, when there's a player or somebody he doesn't like, he'll just try to, like... He'll just try to hate on Make a name. But his, his version of hating is just their name plus something that rhymes with their name. He is, but, like, he doesn't get, like, hateful about it. He'll just... Yeah. It'll just be their name with something that rhymes or kind of sounds like their name. And then he just leaves it there. It's, it's, like it's, 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 it's relatively benign. So it's literally the schoolyard insult. Basically... Like, oh, yeah. my dad used to call Michael Jordan Michael Jord Head, and I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but it made my dad feel better uh, well, when the Bulls know. consistently beat the shit out of the Pacers back in the 90s oh, during God, the three-peat era. Like, yeah, that was no fucking joke. My man. dad actually has, like, and don't don't come after my dad, NBA. Adam Silver, don't sue my dad. But my dad has a video. My dad, video, <laughs> my dad taped the Pacer game where, like, Reggie Miller just, like, it was the playoff game. Yeah. Where Reggie Miller just like shoves Michael Jordan, runs yeah. around him, and then just like drops a three right over his head. I oh. swear, my dad like rewound and hit play on yeah, that. Like he, had a, he at least had to masturbate to it once. Oh, hell, I I did when I was fourteen. <laughs> I found it. I thought I was finding porn, and it just it was just that. It was, it was, it was just that. It was just that game of yeah. Pacers Bulls Eastern Conference Finals <laughs> or whatever it was back in the day. Oh fuck, dude. So what you been doing? What you been reading? What you been watching? What you been playing? I, well, I was going to start Horizon the Forbidden West, and I haven't yet. Dude, I platinum that, trophied Spider-Man. You already know that I played through Forbidden West, and that is like an absolute fucking masterpiece. I know. I'm, I'm getting that ready to start it. It is such a beautiful continuation. So it's like, man, it's not as big of a perfect leap as like God of War to God of War 2. Mm-hmm. The originals. I don't know if you played those. Did you play those? I played the original. I haven't played the second one yet. Okay. I haven't played Ragnarok yet. No, 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 I'm talking about the original. Oh, the originals. I actually didn't because I didn't have a PS2. Dude, okay. I was a so Nintendo I'm trying to think of like a good parallel here. So like, For better or worse. No, 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 no. Um, okay, did you play the original Spider-Man game? Yeah. Okay, like the original, like the OG PS1, PS2. I had it on N64, but yeah. Yes. I have the first one on N64. Okay, the red so you know the leap between like those first set of games? Yeah. To like like the like the, the McGuire movie, movie games, yeah, you know, like Spider-Man the gigantic too. leap. Yes. Okay, not anywhere close to that. Um, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> that was the most useless analogy. No, from Spider Man to Spider Man Two, I would say. Okay. The movies. Um, they just like fucking tweaked everything and made it like really super efficient. You know what I mean? And yeah, then, like, I feel they that. added some like usability and they okay. took what they had and built on it very well rather than like scrapping it and then like trying different shit. Yeah. They were just like, how can we make this more diverse and more uh less less clunky, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm into that. Yeah, it's fucking dope as and hell. It's, it's it's nice finally having a PS five. Yeah. Now that oh, you God. can actually like get them. Yeah. It's a pretty good time. But I got Cyberpunk. The lady got me Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Dude, for, for I Valentine's would not Day. leave my house if I got Cyberpunk. Uh, yeah, I, I got Cyberpunk. Wow, it was fairly functioning. I will say, I did run into a few glitches. Yeah, and the game has crashed a couple times, so it's oh, not yeah. like it's not like one hundred percent like it's not flawless. Flawless, but like, sh- but like there was one glitch where like this dude, like this car was just like flipping okay. around by itself, and this dude got caught in it. So I was just sitting there just. Shooting him with my pistol, just barely like <laughs> using any ammo because he wasn't going anywhere. And I was like, "Cool, free cover." Um, so it kind of worked in my favor. <laughs> but yeah, and then I, being the Marvel shill that I am, I paid the twenty dollars to get the remaster of Spider Man. Oh hell yeah! And no. uh, noticeable, like even noticeable like the costumes oh, yeah. look more detailed. Oh my god! Like it's dude. noticeably like more detail. Dude, what they which, have I done? Mean, the game came out in twenty eighteen. God so that makes damn! Sense. But what hey, they have done with that fucking series? Insomniac deserves every goddamn Spider Man two coming out this year. No, but I mean, just like they deserve every goddamn Marvel IP at that. Oh, phase. They, like if you're gonna do individual games and not yeah. like team ups and corny shit, like mm-hmm. Marvel always fucking does. They're for also some reason. They're also doing Wolverine. Yeah, I know. I, that's I'm so fucking amped for that. We got Spider Man two this year, and Wolverine is either like next year or 2025 or something. Yeah, because like, dude, I would I would fucking go as far to say like, dude, they just give Insomniac like the entire lineup of defenders. They they honestly should the the entire lineup of defenders. And like, literally, you already have Spider Man as an IP. You yeah. fucking throw the defenders in there, and it's it's a feasible game to make because they are like your street level heroes. Well, so and, it's not it doesn't have to be fantastic. And that's the key is I want more like street level stuff because like. They could totally do because Wolverine's gonna be rated in. 
Oh, oh, God. Yeah. Well, it has to so, be. like, they could totally do, like, Ghost Rider. They could do Blade. They could do Moon Knight. Dude, yeah. They could do, like, Heroes for Hire. They could do, like, Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Yeah, like, hell Heroes yeah. For Hire thing. A Daredevil game would be kind of cool. Oh, dude, Daredevil. Um, it would be probably a little too much like Arkham because you'd have, like, Daredevil vision. It would just look like yeah. the Batman Yeah, vision. it would be a very much a very But well. I would totally, like, but I feel he's like not a detective Blade either, so. would be pretty cool, too. Yeah, like, Blade would be killing vampires. Sick. Yeah, dude. Or let them do the next Deadpool game. Bring back freaking Nolan North to play Deadpool. Oh, like, yeah. There's a lot of stuff they could do. And I'm, you know, I'm I really interested liked that seeing... original. I really like that original Deadpool, too, because it was just fucking chaos the whole game. And it's like, yeah, this is the point. That was so <laughs> you, have, good. you have hit the fucking nail on the head, dude. It was exactly what that... Yeah, it was exactly what a Deadpool thing is supposed to be. Get exactly. back to video games. Yeah, the game, it's gaming talk. Um, gaming, gaming, the gaming the episode. Gamer, the game, gamer, game. The gamer, gamer game episode. Um, yeah, I've been playing through Breath of the Wild. Because Jimmy James, that, the uh, Gamer Games. That's the title of the episode, <laughs> baby. <laughs> but no, Tears of the Kingdom's getting ready to come out. Tears of the Kingdom's um, getting ready to come out. I'm excited. So I'm playing Bang Through Breath of the Wild. Um, yes. Fucking love this game with yes, every dude. fiber of my being. Gush about Breath of the Wild for a little bit. I'm going to use your pisser. See yeah, microphone. that's fine. Uh, uh, but no, I just, I, I love it because there's like so many relics from Ocarina of Time, you know? I hope we catch you peeing on Mike, bro. It's going to be funny as hell. <laughs> See, we can run for Rick and Morty. Let's look over here. Yeah, literally. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, Tears of the Kingdoms is coming out. I'm fucking super amped about that. I always love the fucking Zelda series. Of course, I mean, it's literally just like a super lighthearted, cartoonish, fun Elden Ring with a good story. Yeah. I mean, and you know what I mean? Like, it's, a, you know. Yeah. 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 No, I, but I just like you I, know, I, I love this kind of like you know, it. just write your own story. Basically, yeah, like I love how you can go through the entire story and do everything, or you can just do not beeline straight for the end. Or yeah, fuck it. Like if you can do all like, have you seen like speed runs of yeah. like Breath of the Wild? Yeah. Where they just gun straight, it straight. Yeah, just straight in. It's it's a sight to behold. I'm not yeah, gonna it's lie. actually kind of crazy. Like I always I feel like I, would never I do, do not speed run, and I don't watch speed runs for that reason because they ruin games for me. Because I'm like, well, I already saw the end, and that kind yeah. of sucks. The only the only speed runs I've actually tried to do, I did a Pokemon Snap speed run of like N sixty four Pokemon Snap. Oh yeah, Snap. yeah, yeah, hell yeah! And then Mega Man X four because I have played that game since I was literally like five six years old. No, oh, yeah. So I already could beat that game in like forty five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. So when I learned speed the speed run strats, I was like, cool, now I can beat it in like thirty eight minutes or whatever. Dude, surprisingly enough, the only thing I speed run is chess. Yeah, see, I can't. Is, I mean, I can speed run chess, yeah, but, but it's, it's just I speed run to a loss. Yeah, but it, no, but it, I like <laughs> inherently do it now because like, how fast can I can I Hell get yeah. this done? I, I normally I was know, not cool. a uh, a mobile like a phone game person. I'm not, it's like the only one, but I don't consider that a phone I was game. Playing either, po- chess, you can play chess like yeah. physically too. You know, I was playing Pokemon Go. The uh, <sighs> the girlfriend got me playing Yahtzee on my phone. <laughs> oh God, you're now officially a fucking thirty year old man. I know. I know. You I'm play Yahtzee old. when you poop, dude. Playing, You're fucking thirty. I do. I go back and forth between <laughs> Yahtzee and Pokemon Go. But yeah, so it's no. like I'm trying. To, I'm trying to stay young by playing Pokemon yeah. Go still, even like it's 2016 all over again. Yeah, I um, I don't know. I'm probably about. I'm not 50 percent done with the game, but 50 percent done with what I want to get done with the game. You know what I, I mean? I've got a couple of the Divine Beast open up, and I think I'm gonna do the other two, and then kind of buff my armor. I always go for the Master Sword first. Oh yeah, always. I just. Fucking speed ranch rides. Got a bunch of hearts. Ran for the fucking master sword. Now I got that. I'm just gonna fucking. And isn't that the thing? That game where it's like you got to um, you got to have like so many hearts. Yeah, you have to have thirteen. Sword. Yeah, yeah, you have to have thirteen hearts. You got to do these shrines. You got to do four shrines to get one heart container. You start with three. Mm. Yeah, so you have to do forty shrines Sounds just like to get. Work. Yeah, no, it is. It's fun though because it's like a fun grind because it in is. between in between the grind, there's so much to do. There's so much like good filler content, not I just I, like. I love how I'm like, sitting here shitting on it like I didn't do all of these things in the game yeah no but it's like not that like you know it's not like a uh it's it, a lot of them aren't like just like boring fetch them quests either they, yeah they the tracks are actually like fun puzzles yeah yeah of course it's just like little brain games so it's yeah it's a good time it's entertaining you know um but yeah i think about 50 percent away and then i'll probably fucking beat it here the next few days and oh yeah wait for tears of the kingdom um, yeah because tears of the kingdom drops when may i think it's yeah i think it's either may or april Look jamie up. pull that up jimmy May heard, 12th. Yeah, and I heard that... Pikmin uh, 4 comes out in July. I heard a bunch of the game oh, fucking Pikmin. leaked, too. Oh, did it? Yeah, I heard there was a big fucking stinker where somebody fucking ruined the whole thing. I haven't, I haven't been on, like, Twitter or anything, so I've been able to, like, avoid a lot of that. 
thankfully. I haven't used my Twitter or my Instagram in. But yeah, do you know like, like the? Have you watched the trailer for it? Like the yes, episode? yeah, like, I watched Jesus the most recent. Christ, like, I was like, bro, the Lord, you guys are fucking killing me. It, yeah, Freaking yeah, this is like the only thing Nintendo does. Like Matt Perfect. Mercer is like the voice of Ganondorf and shit. It's Man. either Matt Mercer or Troy Baker. I forget which one. I think it's uh, Matt Mercer. Because mm. everybody was like watching the Nintendo Direct that they did earlier in the month, and we're like, is that Matt Mercer. It is Matt Mercer. It is Matt Mercer. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So we got voice acting. Yeah, that's that's we crazy. We voice acting in Zelda. We're close. We're getting there. But yeah, um, oh my god, dude, it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a fucking dude. It's gonna be a good time. I cannot wait. I will not leave Excited my house for, for fucking weeks. That's how I'm gonna be when Spider Man Two comes out. It's already confirmed that Craven and Venom are gonna be in it, and you know, based on what they did in the last game, we're probably gonna get Green Goblin as like a surprise, mm. like reveal. <laughs> Norman's off sabbatical. Yeah. Norman's baby. <laughs> off sabbatical, honey. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be tight. And then Resident Evil Four remake is also coming out. Oh yeah, and that's so gonna I'm be gonna be getting that. Beautiful. There's it's there's a lot of games. It's gonna be a good year for games. It's, gonna it's be already a good, a good year, year for it's games. Be, well, it's gonna be like a 2018 again. Yeah. Literally, Spider Man yeah. game and all. Yeah. Spider Man and Horizon. <laughs> yeah. Because it no Horizon didn't come out in 2018. Horizon was like 2017. Uh, was it 19? Let me look. Let no, me no, look no, that was 17. It was definitely out before Spider Man. It yeah. was 17 for sure. Horizon. It was 17. I didn't play it until. I didn't get it right when it came out. I didn't so either. I got it in like 18. Yeah, because I got it after I got Ragnarok and Spider Man. Horizon Zero Dawn came out February 28, 2017. Yep. For the PlayStation 4. Yep. I was late to the game on that. And game. I got it I like a couple of months. I got it like a couple of months later. And I slept on that fucking game, dude. I, uh, yeah, I ended up going back and playing it. I 100% is such that. a good game. I, I, I got played the story it, not yeah. too super long ago just to get dude. Yeah, I know it's fucking fun life. too. Like it's good and dude, once you fucking trying to get my brother to play because he has a PS5 now. Once you fucking dude, once you play the next one, you're gonna be like, what I'm ready. I'm ready. I was. I am doing my damn just not to ruin it. The only thing I think I've ruined for you is the fucking bow action in the PS5. Yeah, and that's just and that's just functionality. PS- Five mechanics. The dude, freaking, oh my god. Spider-Man does that too. It the does a little, like, tension the, or, yeah, the trigger, like, tension. It does that when you, like, yeah. web swing. And you yeah, can, It dude. plays the web shooter sound through the little speaker yeah. in the controller. Dude, I, yeah, my brother's got it. So, it's a good yeah. time. Because he got, um, when he got Miles Morales, mm-hmm. but he also had the, he got, like, the free upgrade. Yeah. And yeah. then when you do the free upgrade, you can buy, like, OG Spider-Man remaster. It's, like, 20 bucks yeah. to get the remaster. Yeah, dude, it was fucking... The first one was like, you know they're going to do it for free eventually. And I was like, I don't care. I want to play OG yeah. Spider-Man. God. I like Miles Morales, but it's just... It's just the OG Spider-Man is just... Well, you know, Miles yeah. Morales was more like a fucking DLC and less like... It was more like game. a standalone DLC, yeah. Like, that's at least how it felt for me. Like, it, was yes, like, they, it was like how, like, like Blood yes, Dragon was with Far Cry. Yeah, I mean, they, like, they did, they did really good at, like, uh, expanding on the story and, like, the lore and the whole fucking city and all that shit. Yeah. But, like, realistically, like, you... Miles is a fun character to follow. You just with didn't him and change enough. The villain was trash. Yeah. Horrible villain. Yes. She was dumb. Didn't horrible. Like yeah, didn't like it at all. She gets mad at Miles for not telling her that he's Spider-Man when she's the tinker the whole time and attacks a rally that his mom is putting on, knowingly putting her best friend's mom in directly in danger. Yeah, it's kind of... And kinda then gets mad that thing. Miles wasn't like, I'm Spider-Man, by the way. Yeah. 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 She was just trash. Trash villain. Trash villain. Miles deserves yeah. better. Yeah, motivations definitely suck. She would have been a good, like, side villain, or they should have just, like, written her character better. And that's they, on the writers. That's on been, the writing like, staff. Dude, they could have fucking written her in as a hostage. You know what I mean? Like, hostage situation to the actual villain or whatever the fuck. Yeah. You know what or, I mean? Like, you could easily write just, that in. And be like, the fucking tinkerer had me under his fucking control. Or, or you know what I mean? Or, like, or this, keep her as the tinkerer, just give her better motivation. That's, yeah. Like, her character just wasn't, like... Her I character being mad at Miles, being like, you betrayed me by not telling me you're Spider-Man. God just man. just write your characters better. That's all I want. Just write them better. Yeah. I know I'm asking too much out of like a side spin-off Spider-Man not game. Really. Not really, no. Write your characters I don't care if that better. fucking goddamn game was only like 20 hours. In the hours, first like, game, like, like, the way they do Doc Ock... Oh my god, the way they do everything. Sense. Oh my god, and you and you and especially I'm not saying that story is even the strongest story that's like ever come out of a video game. But at least like at least it fucking tracks. At it least fucking like tracks. it lines up. It tracks. So I don't know. But anyway, yeah. I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm really excited for Spider Man 2. I'm really excited for RE4 oh remake. God. I'm really excited for Cheers of the Kingdom. I will probably play Pikmin 4. 
I can't yeah. say I was like jumping up and like punching the sky. Yeah, I've never played but, like, Pikmin. I'll play Pikmin for I've like never played Pikmin. One. I uh, I, I, have, I vibe on some Pikmin. Yeah, hell yeah. From back in the day. Um, I never got into it like originally, so I never just uh, yeah. Know, yeah. It's it's one of those where like even the sequels, you can just kind of just like jump right in it. You don't yeah, have to. Yeah, play, you, don't, not, you don't. There's no like deep. I mean, there is like lore. Quote, yeah, but quote, it's not. Fingers, lore. It's, a, it's not a lore. But it's not like game. deep. It's like Animal yeah. Crossing. It's not like a lore. Yeah, exactly. Game. It's not like if you didn't play the first one, you're not going to know what's going on. Yeah, it's it's like little dudes that grow out of the ground. Sims, you throw like them at monsters. You're good. Fucking hell, yeah. Fling the boys. Deploy the boys. And then you're you're freaking you're good to go. <laughs> Fucking deplorable. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Fuck yeah, no, it's gonna be a good year for games for sure. I don't know. I don't even know what else is coming out. Um, I don't know. I was about I don't to know. Dude, have anything. you have you seen the fucking Ant Man cross review here where we've got like bad critic views and great fucking audience views? Yeah, I haven't seen the movie yet because I keep waiting on my brother to have a day off, which is like good luck with that. Yeah, I think uh, um, I was wanting to go see it. My girlfriend I, went ahead and got us tickets for Scream Six, so I at least get to see that. Cause no, that's so I'm not huge on horror movies. So but, I'm not huge on horror movies, but like I'll watch Scream. They're dude, corny enough that like dude, they're a good time. Yeah, I just dude, I feel like that just like sets the fucking corniest trope. You know what I mean? It's like we you literally. We can't make anything scary anymore. We just keep, you know what I mean. I mean, like, there's a, there's a few that like she was into that are like scary, scary. That I'm like, you're watching that by yourself. I dare yeah. not watch it. I don't know. It still go falls under the proverb of like, if I can't punch it and I can't fuck with it, I'm not gonna fuck with it. Like I say, if I can't punch it or I can't fuck it, well, I wasn't gonna go that far, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, probably. It just, fall, it just falls under that. Like I don't know. It, it, if that psychologically is fucking me up, I'm not dealing with it. Facts. Dude, I'm looking at the. Sorry, I'm just looking at the. Uh, oh, Octopath Traveler two. If you like RPGs, that's coming out this month. Oh, Jedi Survivor coming out in April. Star oh Wars. fuck yes! Doing a Star War. That was like my brother's like big Star Wars game too. That's like, I was gonna into be it. one of my big games of the year too. Yeah, no, I like I was into it, but I never played it through because like I don't know. There's I, an early access game that I'm afraid to look up to see what it is, called Bare Butt Boxing. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, Steam, Steam's raunchy games are just like the fucking, like, my, they make my life sometimes, bro. Because I just look at them and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, freaking Suicide Squad <laughs> kills the Justice League. It's coming out in May. And it, I'm hoping they don't make it like games as a service like Marvel did with Avengers. Cause I, was oh, playing. I just God. want that to be a good single player Games experience. as a service is such a bad idea. And I like, also it's hope still... it's not multiplayer only like Overwatch. It's... I really want it to be a good single player experience. Yeah, no, and that's... You know, that's like the, the the thing that we lost in games too is like optional co op, bro. Yeah. Optional co op, bro. I don't care if my AI is fucking dick, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. as long as it doesn't break the game, I don't care. But like, you know, with like my uh, with Spider Man Two coming out, so like, you are you gonna play as either or? The fucking best way to probably do that is to play either or or co op. You yeah, I would mean? say either co-op it, or I could totally see them like switch, like each chapter, like you switch yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. With, like, or certain, it's like, like GTA head ass, where it's like you can switch characters as yeah. you're going along. I can and then see like it, you like, team up occasionally. You know what yeah, I, mean? I can see it like yeah. There's like probably points where you can just like Dude, switch it, between. Yeah. Like you go to this like certain point, like you go to like Peter's apartment, and then you can like switch yeah. between like him and Miles. Yeah, no, I think that'd be cool as hell to like do like an optional co-op missions too. It's like, well, I can have my boy come do this mission with me. You know what I mean? And yeah, just hop in and you. I mean play. they. They kind of sort of did that with Gotham Knights. They just didn't do it yeah, well. But yeah, well, whoever, hey. whatever studio made that. Yeah, it was definitely not the one. But Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, especially since you can only do two players. You can do four players, even though there were four characters yeah, in right. the game. Yeah, right. Makes and, no sense, right? Like, we just want to whoop some fucking thug ass, bro. Speaking of whooping ass, June 2nd, Street Fighter Six. What? I didn't play Street Fighter Five because it was... That's my dad's birthday. Honestly, it looked... Like garbage. Oh, happy birthday to your dad. You yeah, can get him yeah. Street Fighter Six. Hell yeah. The day it comes out. Hell yeah, dude. He was he was more of a Mortal Kombat guy. To be well, honest. I feel yeah. that. I feel that. Yeah, the head ass. Oh, Final Fantasy Sixteen also gonna be coming out. I haven't even looked at anything on that because all I'm following is remake. <laughs> like, the, well, yeah, <laughs> dude. The, like, um, or if they're ever gonna remake nine. The combat is being done by one of the lead developers of Devil May Cry, so it's gonna have like a Final Fantasy game with Devil May Cry combat. Dude, is so like I'm already into it. Yeah, no, like, uh, Devil May Cry is like, even, even the fucking shitty reboot that sucked, still a good game. Like, it, at the core was still very much a, um, a badass game. Because I know everybody shits on that in the whole series, and I'm like, still though, it was still a decent reimagining of the game. 
Yeah, then yeah, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I just keep calling it Remake 2. Uh, but. Yeah, but Rebirth is a... Uh, uh, um, and then the third one's probably going to be Reunion, because everything is like, Reunion, Genova, uh, Dude, you know, I am so scared for Rebirth, to be honest. I am the way, so... The way that, like, they end the uh, first game and the DLC... I'm, I'm so terrified for Rebirth. I feel like they're going to either shit the bed or do it service, and there is going to be no fucking in-between. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look, because uh, this is the one where it's like we're going to get, like, Yuffie and Oh, yeah, because I played... Well, because I played Yuffie. I, played I haven't the, played... Uh, I still haven't played the DLC yet. The fucking... Uh, I played that shit. My brother had it on PS Plus, and I fucking played that bitch, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, no, it's super cool. I don't know like, if I want to... It's like um, a nice little parallel, you know? Um, I don't like how it ended. It was kind of abrupt. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It didn't, like, curtail you. Like, yeah, I haven't, I haven't played it yet. Do you... Well, I'm not trying to ruin anything. Well, no, no, I'm just fine. trying to say like it didn't, I've seen, like, like it of it. fucking went up, plateaued, and, oh, and then you're just done. It just kind of just happens. Yeah, like you're like balls deep in the story, and then you're like, oh yeah, I gotta get to this and do that. Those are just like Sopranos, just it's like, just, cut like the done. Block, just cut the credits. Yeah, literally. I was like, what the fuck? That's I'm, it. I'm debating Damn. if I want to just skip straight to the DLC or if I want to play the game again because I don't remember like everything that happened. That's I'm what like, I did. I, I actually, don't have that kind of time to be playing remake again, dog. Oh, dude, just speedrun. Just fucking put that bitch on easy. I honestly will, yeah. Put it no, on easy to skip dude, cutscenes. Literally, <laughs> every time I do a replay like that, I usually do classic or easy, and just like I just want to like uh, you know get re, re reintroduced into the story. Dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not streaming. No one's paying me to fucking play this. That's hard also ass true. Game. You know what I mean? I'm not getting paid to play this hard ass game. I just want to fucking you know. It's just finding the time, man. Between work and yeah, and make it easy. Making it easy. Dude, you could, you could, what is that, a fucking 20-hour game if you actually just Yeah, I could probably just, motherfucker? like, slam through it. So you're talking, what, maybe, like, three weeks, max? We'll, 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 we'll aim for three weeks, and then here in three weeks, I'll be like, yo, I played it. Yeah, no, it's fucking, it's, uh... But, I mean, I'll be playing Horizon, let's be honest with you. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's a, uh, and that's definitely a, like, 120-hour game. Yeah, for so sure. if, if you if you want to if you want to get anywhere near like eighty percent of that game, that's definitely gonna be a fucking undertaking. Oh yeah, especially the grinding in that game. But I do, yeah. No, I love that game so much. Oh my god, it's so good. I can't wait to get you. Into you it. are gonna I fucking play. To play you it. are gonna fucking play and be like, you son of a bitch, you undersold this. And I'm like, bro, I said it well, with everything. <laughs> dude, it's so dude, fucking good. If you really enjoyed the first one, like you're gonna love it. That was the only thing matter. I didn't like when I got my PS5 is by the time I got my PS5, they didn't have the Horizon bundles anymore. It was only the God of War bundle. Oh. And I was like, I was already going to get PS Plus, so I was like, I didn't want to pay for God of War. But I'll be honest. I'm probably like one of the few people on the planet that doesn't really give a shit about God of War. I'll be honest with you. Like, it looks like it's a masterpiece of a game. I'm not going to, like, undersell it and no, 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 like, no, right. say that it's not, not lore. something. It's like but it's just not, like, I just don't care. Also, like I do Ragnarok about Horizon. can't be in a suck. All right. Yeah. No, they uh, they because everybody I hear talk about it is like it's the best game. No, 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 no. Like uh, from Elden like from like a game it. and like mechanics and visual standpoint, it is fantastic. Um, but the story is kind of fucking bullshit, bro. The first game they set up where it's like, yep, Loki's gonna have to kill his dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they set just like, all of that up, and then it's like, yeah, just kidding, bro. Um, we're just gonna not do that and change. Literally, like, 70% of what your perceived idea of this game's future would be. I literally just assumed that, like, halfway into the game, you would murder Kratos for some fucking reason <laughs> and become Loki. Like, yeah. Damn. And I could see them doing a side game where it's, like, you play as, like, Loki slash Atreus. Spoiler alert if you didn't play. Yeah, but no, they should have just done that. Like, and I know it's like, oh, my God, no, he's an amazing IP. You shouldn't kill him off. Why? Dude, kill him off. You know how much time he had between goddamn ancient Greece and anything else? Yeah. Like, he could have went to, like, other places and done other things. I mean, they I mean? did comics where, like, he just goes to Egypt. Yeah, like, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, like you I'm going to keep walking. Yeah, yeah, I, dude, yeah, you could literally just fucking... Just, like, move along. Yeah, you could literally do all that shit. I mean, that's you literally what that Metroid character. Prime is. Yeah, but, like, the the thing that just like fucking... All the in-between crap. It just fucking pissed me off. I was like, motherfucker, you're, like, leading up to where, like, you even get a, a section in the game where you play as Atreus. Yeah. And I'm like, you could have just done that. But also... I understand the difficulty of that too because like Atreus' skill set is so vastly different than fucking Kratos. Well, yeah, because he's not like a big like yeah, he's a, he's, 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 he's a, a yeah, bow and he's arrow a, guy. yeah, he's a bow and arrow, Lord of Deception. You know what I mean? Like, it would have been way cooler to see a 
to see a like halfway through the game it kills the fucking like you literally oh yeah that would have been a ball oh you kill Kratos or like you inadvertently have to for some reason so it's not like you want to but it's like Loki has to do this to like for some reason Ragnarok has to have you know what I mean like it ties in like you could have done something easily like that like oh I like he has to die so Ragnarok happens so everything's good yeah and then you fucking you know it's like well yeah you gotta fucking die bro yeah. And he'd be like, yeah, that's cool. I killed my own dad anyway. Yeah. <laughs> He's, like, He's like, hey, bro, you know the what? The will be complete. Let's go. But he fucking, I just, I don't know, man. And you could have just jumped into Loki and it could have been like a different dynamic type of game where it would have been like more like a, uh, like a stealth deception or like a. Do, do you think the God of War fan base would have let them have? Because I feel like if they killed off Kratos, the God of War fan boys would have like rioted and like burned down the building. Well, the thing is, I think they let up in the first game with enough of that that it would have been like well yeah that sucks but honestly you hinted that at in the entire first game like I could see them doing it like at the end and be like God of War's over like we're not making any more bye yeah. bye but those games like shit money so they're never gonna stop making God well, of War well and the, the thing of that too so is like you could have uh, you could have like Red Dead 1 where yeah. you're fucking John Marston That's and you true. end up his son yeah you know what I mean yep I could actually I could see that and that's kind of what I was looking that, for. Like God of War three. That's exa- that's exactly what I was looking for. Is like you do that, and then it's like Atreus isn't like the God of War, but like not a bad idea. He uh, he ends up fucking yeah yeah. All right. Not bad idea. We're about to wrap up. I want to thank you guys for watching with us. We got gaming. We got movies. We this is sort of like our soft relaunch, soft opening, soft re- reboot of of Marvin's yeah. room, um, or whatever this podcast becomes at this point. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, it's our boys talking. We got Jimmy James with the video games yeah. coming at your face, and of course your boy Levi, as always. Yeah, make sure you're following here on Spotify and Marvin Comedy on the Twitter. Uh, if I ever use my Twitter again, and the the YouTube's and uh, Tissue Boy Levi on TikTok and and James, you got anything you want to plug? Anything you're working on? Anything you want to say? Yeah. Final words to the the peoples. Uh, do Rihanna's this shit? The whole world's fucked, James. <laughs>